Thanks, Thomas. Um, well, we're here today to condemn, firstly, the gun attack that happened here where children were playing in the street. If you look around, you'll see that there's lots of children, young people in this street particularly. And, you know, we feel that it's a very, very reckless action for something like that to have happened and taken place in this street particularly. Um, and then secondly, we're here to condemn the threat against Councillor McGuinness. Um, Stephen um, spoke out against that attack. His own child was playing in the street. Um, and because of him speaking out against that, that reckless attack that could have cost a child their life, and 10 minutes earlier it would have cost a child their life, he himself and his family have been put under death threat. And we're calling for that death threat to be removed immediately. The show of solidarity here will be very encouraging. Well, we hope that this gives Stephen and his family some support. Um, there's a good turnout so far. We, we're just gathering and we haven't started yet, so we hope more numbers will come along. But uh, this, this really is for a show of solidarity for Stephen and his family to let them know that they're not alone and let this wider community know that they're not alone. Well, I think it's very important to be here um, this evening. I think you see by the large crowd that is here this evening showing their solidarity and support for Stephen, one of the local councillors here within this area who is not only a councillor, he's also a community activist. Indeed, Stephen has the electoral mandate here and you can see from some of the people who have come out and supported him here this evening, there are obviously people who have voted for him in the past. They haven't voted for the people who have carried out uh, the threat on Stephen's life or the attack in this community just over a week ago. So it's very important that people remember that, people realise that, but it's very also, sorry, it's very important that whoever's carried this attack out to come forward and explain why, why they've put a threat um, on a local councillor, a local community activist and a local father with, who comes from this area, why have they put that threat to him? Because the people here are baffled by it and the people here are angry by it. My bodyguard's here with me. Um, first of all, uh, I want to thank everybody for coming, not just for myself, but for the residents of Fox's Glen and obviously the Connell community in West Belfast as a whole. Because this sends out a powerful message, as Paul says, that there is support for what we do within this community and there's no support for the dissidents and what they've done in this area last Thursday. They put the lives of people in jeopardy. They, there could have been kids injured, residents injured within this area, and I've done what I've always done. I represented the community and spoke out on the community's behalf for the views of, of the community at the time. That's a role that I play within this community day in and day out. And as, a, as Paul alluded to, I'm a local community activist, and I'll continue to represent this community at every opportunity I get. This threat will not put me off, it will make me stronger, it will make me want to work more, and it will make me want to do stuff harder um, within this community. Because it's very, very clear that um, this community ha has spoke very, very clearly that dissidents are not wanted with within this community. And we need to do what we can to make sure that the positive stuff that we do within our community gets through, and that these people um, are exposed to what they are. They're criminals and they're gangsters and there's no support within this community. And I just want to finish off by just saying I really am overwhelmed with the crowd that came out tonight to support me. As you all know, I stood by the community for 20 odd years in the work that I've done within this community every week in turn. Any time I was called upon, I was there. And it's just showing tonight that whenever I need a people, they were there for me. So I just want to say thanks very much, and this will not put me off. I continue to do what I do, because I am a Republican. These gangs aren't. I have to say I'm, I'm overwhelmed and, and, and eternally grateful uh, for the crowd that came out tonight because obviously it sends out a, a clear message of the support that we have within the community and the support that we have within uh, you know at our community work as well that we do because obviously I have a mandate within this area and the people who threaten me and the people who carry out this attack don't have a mandate, don't represent the people and basically the message sent out tonight by the residents and community activists is that you know we're doing the right thing and I'm not deterring me one bit from what I do. I'll be working harder as a councillor because obviously it proves that, uh, that the stuff that I'm doing is working and for some reason I feel threatened by the work that I'm doing but I'll continue to do it because uh, I represent the people and I have a mandate for this area and as I say I'm eternally grateful for the crowd that come out tonight to show support not just for me but to the Fox's Glen residents and the Colin area as a whole and to my family. And you're off the Lynchburg Council now.
murder rap about the people? Yes, straight out, because uh, just having a bit of a joke with some of them there, thinking they put a suit on because the cameras were here. But realistically, I'm out tonight to do some real battling out in Lisburn Council. Obviously representing the people who elected me and mandated me in this area.